All right. Uh, so we've got another couple of other questions that have come in. Um, Amir is asking, we need to implement a script that runs during the autopilot device setup phase to dynamically rename the device based on the logged in user's name. Um, this should occur before applications get installed and before the account setup phase when the current logged in user is still default user 01. Do you know how we can retrieve this user information from either the local machine or through graph API calls at this early stage of the autopilot process? If there is an assignment done on the device object in Intune, yes, you can read it through graph. So you can have a script in the specialized pass because that one runs before out of box experience. That one can look up the value and, and give the device the name it's supposed to have. Uh, the only way I've done it before is to do the entire registration in the specialized pass. So collect whatever information I need early on, uh, even prompting for, for Intune group and username and, and stuff like that, and then leverage that uh, as part of a sequence, do the registration tell the client to hold until it's done and then just allow the machine to continue and then it would have the right name before autopilot is well autopilot thing uh, it's tough that that's something i can think of on top of my head so amir uh, just had a follow-up comment here no user assignment in this case well, then you can ask for it. You can prompt for the username. Because if it's not staged anywhere and nobody's yet logged in, so can't really do it there either. Uh, you can always rename the device after the fact. That, that is done, doable. If you don't mind another reboot. Mm -hmm. Because then they have the logged in user and they can look up the name. and even the user themselves can rename a device from, from the company portal even, but you can do it through scripts. But that will trigger a reboot. So it's more elegant, I think, to do it beforehand. Still reboot the device, but it will have the right name from the beginning. Right. So Amir just had some follow-up on his on, on his question for autopilot and naming the devices. So um, first of all, thank you for the input. And uh, the user logs in at the beginning of the autopilot process. Currently, don't utilize a task sequence and aim to prevent users from entering their information twice. If we rename the device after the autopilot process, uh, team viewer host is installed and registered to their tenant during autopilot. Uh, and that will use the default device name. Uh, technicians will be unable to identify the device without additional steps to track it down and rename it accordingly. Well, for that specific scenario, it probably would make more sense to ask for the username earlier hmm. and use that to set the device name before enrolling, meaning before this application or the team your app is installed because then the device would have the right name from the beginning. So a bit of customization, but it, it's totally doable. The, the trick is to making it secure. So if you have to leverage some sort of a web service in the back end to do the, the Intune talk or the MS Graph calls, so Azure function or a traditional web service or a paid solution, there are plenty of web services out there that you can leverage. Amazon has them, Sabre has them, Azure has them, um, our company has them. Um, uh, Amir had a follow-up question on his uh, on his uh, autopilot and renaming device uh, topic. If we pre-assign the device, how could we get the Azure device ID to look up its information from Graph API? Well, if you pre-assign the device, you don't have, have to. If the device is already there, 
registered at the time it hits the, the out of box experience, it, it will use whatever information that device has. If that device also has a user assigned at that point, it will even pre populate the, the username for you. And it will have the right name at that point, or given the right name. 